Okay, well, it should have been billowing in the wind. I don't know why it isn't, but and it doesn't seem to be simulating right now. What? It seems kind of frozen, right? Um, there? No. Look. So got that selected. I select this. Right click. Apply clothing data. Right? Activate cloth paint. I've got it painted. Um, yeah, I mean, it should be use multiple what? Influence of dominant on any of that. I mean, it really should. What's this mask? I don't recall that from the other one. It should slump or something. I mean, it should do something. Save. Let me minimize this and. center and then weaker around the edge to get uh, I was trying to simulate that this band I don't want this band stretching um, I made it a little weak on the mainsail and it stretches weirdly it makes the rope you know and the uh, the supporting you know this reinforcing band uh, of around the rope look uh, look funny so I don't like that um, I do like this better um, it's a little tight and weird looking here but it's pretty good I'm pretty happy with it. Um, uh, I like the new normal maps too. So now, what I need to do is I need to come back. So I know this one looks okay. How's my opacity? Is it doing all right? Uh, I need to add the uh, upper yard that this goes to and make the lacing for it. There's a you know basically a rope that's laced around it. You know. Why does it say that I'm offline? Well, so much for streaming, I guess. Let me check again. But damn, dude. It's a little aggravating. No. Yeah. Okay, I do have a stream. Um, yes. What? <laughs> what is it? I don't know what you want. Neck scratches? Okay. You know, that's not getting my sale done. But it is nice. Okay. So, hmm. do you want to go out? All right. Well, I will be right back. Okay, so what I want to do next is I want to attach the, uh, the top yard and lace it to the sail, then bring that and the sail back in and uh, uh, turn it into cloth, and then it's ready to, uh, ready to use. Um, so that's that. You know, while, while I'm here, though, I want to double-check the... Uh, I want to double check the sloop 
to make sure that I haven't I deleted some things earlier. I want to make sure that I didn't break the uh, controls. So I should be able to steer and uh, change the angle of the boom and gaff and mainsail too. This is that stretching I was talking about. So I want to uh, make the, uh, the cloth a little uh, less stretchy here at the base so this doesn't happen. This should not be stretched like that. So here we go. The wind started. It's driving the ship forward. Top sail looks nice over there. Yeah, that's good. I like that. All right. So, so I've got lacing on the, uh, the gaff up there, you can see. Well, sort of. Um, and there's diagonal strips. And so I, I need to build that or something similar to that for the, uh, for the top sail and, and for a couple of the other sails, too. And then I need um, the controls for them, for the rest of them. So I can, you know, at this point, I can move the gaff, mainsail, and boom, and the, and the, um, the boom here. I want to make these, though, so they don't center again. I have the, uh, the rudder and wheel set up so that when you, when you let go of the button, they, uh, they just automatically recenter. But the, uh, this sail shouldn't do that. So I'm gonna, I've got, I've got to change the angle and, and get that set. But, but I'm pretty pleased with it so far. It looks, looks all right, and, and it works. And then I can set it up so that the direct, the, so the angle of the sail can actually control how much force is applied to move the boat. So you know, the better point of sail gives you better sailing and faster, and, uh, that kind of thing. But she works. I didn't break it, and they're starting to look nice. I'm pretty happy. It's kind of cool. All right, so back to work on the sails. So this one's done for now. Uh, file, save all, and let's get to work on which ones need yards. Did you, did you, this one. See, this gets a rope and these rings, and I've been going back and forth whether I should model, um, model the ropes onto the sails. I think it would be more realistic, and maybe even you know, make nicer blocks for them. Um, I've got sort of crude ones. Uh, but more and more, I'm inclined to model them accurately and make them really nice. Um, I don't know. I don't think I need to do that yet. I, 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 I can put the head ropes and uh, the rope bands, that's the rope bands, and put the yards on. And then, like right now, I have a, a simulation of these it's basically just a flat you know single poly that there are you know it's a couple of polygons that look like you know these uh what do they call them uh that's the upper reef hanks lower reef hanks no i guess that's hanks there i guess that's what it, they're calling it um anyway so the question is, how realistic do I want to make my sails? And I, the more I work on this, the more I want to really model them perfectly, you know. But there is a trade-off in uh, rendering and stuff. Um, I tried, I spent about probably an hour and a half today trying to get uh, these um, uh, strings or hanks on here. I guess that's what they're called. No, I don't know what these are called, but these these ropes. Um, Model them in, and then turn it into cloth, and it, it just didn't work. I mean, they were all um, flying all over the place, and it uh, each one of them animating. I think it started. Um, it was pretty expensive to render, so I'm going to leave those off for now. If I can come up with a, a nice way to do that, I really want to add them because they. I, I think they make it look really cool, and. Um, the reason I really wanted them in was because they give a sort of a finer indication of which way the wind is blowing. You know, I mean, the sail obviously shows if there's wind in it, but but I really want to give, I want to minimize the amount of UI stuff I the, the player has to depend on and, and have more stuff in the world that shows, oh, the wind is going this direction. You know, um, you know, so so we don't have to have a whole bunch of pop-ups and words on the screen and icons and stuff everywhere. I, I just want to keep keep it immersive. But I don't know that I'm going to be able to do that. Let me give it a shot. 
Uh, okay, so I don't need to build anything for these. This, that really is just rope work right now. And until I, I haven't yet decided to model the ropes on, so I'm leaning toward that. But I don't need to do that for now. So I can get it working and then in, in a little bit of time after I see how this works, maybe I'll, maybe I'll do that. But um, this is done. And the, uh, I think the top gallant is done too. So let me close this. I don't need Blender right now. Um, yeah, I think, let me open, let me, let me get my, um, what's that file called? That's sales remapper, try. I believe that's the one. So let me, uh, let me open up here and we'll see what we got. Let me take a look at it. I believe that's the, the most recent fully mapped one that I have. Open. Okay, no. All right, so, yeah. Let me check the stress. Yeah, that's, uh, that's pretty good. Green is good. Um, Okay, so yeah, the top gallant is done, the main sail is done. I need to now do the square sail or, or cross jack and the top sail. And I think those are the only two, right? So there's the top sail, there's the square or, or cross jack, and that's that. So I'm just going to do those two. I need the yards for those. I think those would be in the gunboat, which are, um, um, let me get this open. The gunboat is, under sailing, gunboat, and then which is the most recent? Right? Yeah. Oh my, that's really old. Um, I've been working on these for quite a while. Huh. What was this? I haven't even looked at these in a long time. Oh, I know what that is. I was building it so that when you shoot these, I built these um, for for the mod when I was making this in Arma, and uh, I had so that when a cannonball hits a section of the uh, section of the hull, it'll blow it away and create damage. Um, I'm going to be, I think I'm doing it differently now. Log one rig. Yeah, it's so hard to know which, all right, what's the most, what's the latest date on these? 715, 17, March, holy cow, it's almost exactly. Look at this. It's funny. Uh, Huh. Yeah, today's the 5th. This was the 2nd, uh, 2016, so it's quite a while ago. Um, damage gun mode, gunboat rig only, gunboat hull only. Okay, these may be the most up-to-date. Um, and they're, I believe, fully met. What is that? What is wrong with the... Why did I have the uh, underside of the hull cut away? I have them. I mean, I, these are fully modeled vessels, so I don't know why that's cut like that. I think I was probably using that to do something uh, else. Yeah, okay, so the, the, this was for some special purpose. Gunboat log one, that is probably what I want right there. Let me check this. Mode object, here we go, right? Yeah, okay. Your, so I want to take a look at this in the, this was the gunboat Philadelphia. She was sunk in uh, one of the Great Lakes during the, American, uh, during the American Revolution by a British cannonball that pierced her bow. And then in the, I think the 1950s, 
someone found her and she was really well preserved and now she is at, I think, the Museum of the American Revolution in Philadelphia. Or maybe the Smithsonian, I'm not I think it's Philadelphia, um, which would be appropriate. Um, and she's a cool little ship. So hull, rig, blocks. Let me, uh, yeah, I think, and I think the sails I want for her are the uh, sloop top sail and then the sloop cross jack. So I'm going to bring this, I want to look at it in the Eden Mapper, but. Um, let me just open it in this one. Uh, gunboat. Let me see if there's a more recent. So that was March or February 21st of 16. And then yeah, that really is. That would be the most recent mapping and stuff. I just want to make sure that I have, you know, because obviously I want the most work done to it. Yeah, 124.16. <clears throat> and then uh, I don't have 16. Why is it only have six kilobytes? Oh, that's the main sale. All right, gunboat log one. I think that's what we're going with, right? Yeah. All right. Open. All right, let's go to our gunboat. Gunboat log one. Open. Okay, so we have a beautiful map with a boat here. Um, I now want to look at, let me see the files for this one. Let me, let me just look at the textures. I don't really need to do much with the, uh, the texturing for this, and it should use the rig uh, material uh, that I've, I've modeled these so that uh, all of it's pretty well um, organized. Select by material. So I can hide the blocks. Those, those are a little more detailed, but texture clear. All right, so select by material. So I take the hull, I hide the hull. That's my, there it is. That's a little weird. Select by material rig. Okay, yeah, that, oh, I see, that, that, yeah, that's what that is. So all of this is rig, and I'm gonna hide that. And that'll be gunboat hull and gunboat rig. It doesn't use the same um, uh, texture set, obviously, as the, um, oh, that's why I was doing this, because I have um, part of this uh, mapped in, um, in different material. So, there we go. Um, gunboat log one, close, no, don't save. So let's open these up so I can get those yards and object import. <clears throat> I'm gonna bring in the sloop. And, um, <laughs> art sloop. Where's the most recent sloop? There we are. Object import. Let's get that gun to low. Change Y ninety. All right, so we have a Grid. 
give me the okay that should I'm not sure that's the center of mass but I think it is center I think that is the center point these are probably marked um, and I tried to model these as accurately as I could I had some drawings some photographs I had the uh, a laser scan model of the actual gunboat Philadelphia to help um, so and then I made this low res relatively low res you know version the other one that was a couple of hundred thousand polygons um, but here we are <coughs> file save as so we'll call this um, let's go into sailing sales and this is going to be and gunboat oh. sales maker. All right, so save. So I've got my sloop. I have the gunboat. Let me zoom out so I can see both of them kind of in comparison to one another. Object gunboat. See the gunboat's little. Um, a little bit smaller and uh, see these are these are suitable for, for real shallow water so what I want to do is and I've got a, uh, a yawl too which is even smaller than this um, that's not ready to come in yet I think I haven't looked at it in a long time but my idea is to have areas of shallow water where the gunboats are at their you know where they've got the upper hand and they these guys have awesome uh, armament it has uh, has two nine pounders here one on each side and then a whole bunch of uh, um, half pounders and then a, a 12 pound gun on the bow um, so she doesn't have a lot of guns but the ones she has are real strong and then the uh, the sloop has has a dozen Four, three or four pounds, I think they're four pounders. And then a couple of uh, half pounders. So, swivels. Um, object export. So we're gonna call this um, how did I name SM Sloop 2023. So let's call this SM Gunboat 2023. And now I want to um, Let me just pull the yards and I can use them and lace up the sails for them. Oh, I'm missing one. what I want to do object import I want to bring in one of these just because it's uh, it's got my whole list of sales and it just makes it a little simpler I don't actually need the sales View front, right? Yeah. Okay, I don't need this. I'm done with these. Edit, delete. Wait a minute. Yeah, that's the one I want. Save object import. And I want to bring in. Okay. 
do sale cutter is that at 150 a.m here's the 3 50 p.m no ties no those in fact i think i can delete you know what before i do that i'm gonna just look at these You know what? I'm not going to do that. I'm just going to make this simple. Object import. I'll just bring in the objects and we'll do it that way. Um, sort by name. Group by type. These are all the uh, sales I have. I should have nine of these. So we have, um, in fact, I can throw all this. And I'll cancel. Right? No. no. Bring me the crossjack. Object import. All I want are the names, and I just don't feel like retyping them all. Import. Crossjack flying jib for sale. Jib. Mainsail. Pennant. Save all top sail. Top gallant. Sweep top sail. Okay. What I need is a tutorial on how I can raise and lower my sails and furl them. Um, I was looking earlier today for curtains in Unreal, like how to move, you know, how to open and close a set of curtains. And I found a couple of videos, but they're just little clips of guys showing, hey, look what I did. And it shows you know, a 20 second or 30 second clip of him opening and closing curtains and they animate and stuff, but uh, no information about how, how they did that. And I think it has something to do with the, I think I'll have to make a, uh, uh, what do you call it? Uh, a skeleton for it and animate the, I mean, I have a skeleton in the skeletal mesh, but you will have to add bones to it and use those to control the thing. But I have no experience, not in the past probably 10 years doing that. Five, well, five years anyway. Um, so I've got, I'm basically starting from scratch here. Um, little engine, raise, sails. How about that? Let's try that. No. I don't think so. I have seen these uh, tutorials, and I don't recall any information in there about how to do that. just moved my office into another part of this building and uh, my Wi-Fi needs help so I'm gonna have to fix that tomorrow but I can't get to it now so but it means that everything loads very slowly from the internet yeah it's, uh, this is just more stuff that's not relevant I mean, it is showing me my stream. That's not bad. Um, yeah, I don't know. Uh, raise, lower. How about that? Maybe curtain, maybe raise and lower. Maybe I can get some. See, here are the curtains. But they talk about the material, but I know how to do that. The problem is how do I move part of the curtain, you know? So that it so that the the sail can be raised and lowered. That's my question. Um, I don't know. Maybe nobody's ever done it before. I know somebody has, but I mean, I know how to raise and lower a flag. 
you know, I can lower the whole thing. But if I just want to move, what the heck is that? All I want to do is move, you know, that, you know, I don't want it to play. I just want it to point. Um, I want to, you know, just lower the top part of the sail or the lower part of the sail up. But I don't know how to do that. Raise and lower. Um, cloth, maybe. Cloth sim on people. <laughs> Maybe. Yeah, I just don't know. Well, all right, I'm going to have to figure that out some other time. I think for now, I guess, if I want to raise and lower the sails, I'll just hide and unhide. You know, I think that's, that's probably the way to do that now until I learn how to, how to raise the yards. Oh, well, yeah, I'll we'll have, to, have to try that another way. Where are we? Okay. All right, so this is the sloop topsail object. Let me get let me get all of these and just start cutting them and putting them in the right place. So we have our pennant. things I've got to do is rotate these so that when I import them in the game I can animate them but I'm not sure until I know exactly how I want to animate them how how they ought to be oriented but I'm going to do something temporary and and if I need to re-import them I've got them built and it's, it's a simple matter to animate the or you know to set up the cloth weight this is the foresail right My goal tonight is to just get these all into the game and the ones that need to go on the ship, like the four sails and the jib, the four sail, the jib, and the flying jib. I'm putting them on the sloop. Um, and I'm going to bring in the gunboat and I'm going to put the sails that go on it. And then I have a couple extras that, it, that I'm not using, but I may just because they're cool to save all top sail. And actually, I mean, you can. I mean, I, I'm making it so that you can make sails and you can find you know if you have the materials find linen and the uh, 
sailmaker's sewing kit. Uh, you can make sails um, and tents also. Um, and so, you know, you can, you can use different types. So if you want a smaller top sail, you can use that uh, to copy. So this is the jib, right? Uh, jet. Edit, paste. <clears throat> hmm. And there's the mainsail. Okay, edit, paste, edit, okay, center, and there we go. File, save, file, save as. What's this one called? Let me just get rid of these. I know I don't need that one or that one. This is the Sailmaker Sloop and Gunboat. Can I just, I'm done with these now. So, just do this. Oh, damn it. like save an archive just because um, something happens to this file then I've got to back up all right options grid where are we 10 good okay <clears throat> so what, what I have here I need to bring in my materials mm -hmm. You know what I should have done, had I been smart, I'd have done this. So let me go ahead and bring in uh, yeah, I need the uh, combiner. I made a, what the heck is going on with my lights? Where, where's my image? Oh, it's at the top. I didn't even see it. Okay, here we go. So I'll load this, and then I can quickly texture all of these, and then I can see where the grommets and stuff are. Meanwhile, while this is... Oh, there it is. I was going to go get a cup of coffee, but we're ready. Okay. If you look at the, uh, like here at the mainsail. Wait, why is that black? Did I not include that on the texture? I should go ahead and add that. Um, <clears throat> let's do that with this. Let me open this up. I really don't like this program anymore. Why is this not responding? Well, I like it even less than I did before. This used to be a good program, and then a couple of, you know, back 2017, 2018, they ruined it. I've hated using it ever since. It used to be, uh, used to be a great program to texture and stuff with. And they uh, got fancy and wrecked it. All right, so let's take this. Image canvas size. Okay. No. Undo. Yeah, well, I guess so. Canvas size. Um, well, you're not going to allow me to put it back on. I'll have to do that myself, huh? All right. Hmm. <clears throat> 
transparency in here. I just want it uh, all flat. And, uh, the, the only purpose of this image is for testing. I, I have a, a, in my material shader in Unreal, it combines uh, three 2048 texture images and uh, well, save. Um, and in here, I've got a 4096, and I don't want that in the game. I want more smaller textures. I think that makes it run better. Okay, let me reload that. Um, here we go. Hmm. Fun stuff. So should be able to see, yeah, now you see I can see where these, uh, I'm going to put my yard across here, but then I, I have to put that lacing across those. And for instance, right here, then I can see where it goes in order to draw it. <laughs> and here we go. Let me look at the mainsail too. I wonder if I should, I mean, I do, I could make it transparent here. Why don't I do that? No. Well, do I want to? Maybe I do. Hmm. No. No, yes, no, yes, I don't know. I don't want to mess with it. For now, I'm going to leave it as it is. I do want my reference. Um, <clears throat> this is Steele's Elements of Seamanship, The Elements in Practice. It's, uh, I think it's 1793. It's very helpful. you got to consider that Anybody drawing this in 1793 had learned it in the 1760s, 1770s, 1780s. And so as they're putting it together, there's, you know, this is the stuff that was around in the uh, late 18th century, which is when the game is taking place. Um, okay. And see, they've got earrings on the end of this square sail rather than I mean, the way I have it is, is the blocks, but I, I used a different. drawing for that. Oh, you know, shoot, I'm going to need the, uh, let me think this through, because I, I want to bring my yards in. You don't want to. And I've already done the uh, this yard and the uh, the mainsail uh, gaff right here. I've got the lacing done for that. What do they call it? It's not lacing. What do they call that? I'm trying to use the what they called it. Uh, oh, it is lacing. Yeah, 
Okay, good. That's maybe that's where I got the word then. Lacing. So um, I've got this lacing done, and I have that done. So now I need to do the sloops top sail and square sail or cross jack because um, I want to use these on the uh, uh, the gunboat. So all right, well I'm going to set up the uh, thing to run for a minute.